My friend Carl keeps telling me how great his job in finance is. Apparently he made a killing last week in kangaroo futures. I kind of feel sorry for him. You see, I work at a research hospital, Generic County General Research Hospital. And everyone knows, researchers are rock stars. <laughs> Mm -hmm. When I grow up, can I be just like you? Sure, kid. You just study hard, work your little tail off, and be as handsome as you can. Get a picture, huh? Say cheese. Cheese. All right, one more time. Jack Jack me. 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 Doctor Pete. Doctor Pete. Doctor. King. The hallway. Missy, how come this hospital doesn't have paparazzi? Someone thought a nursing staff was more important. Silly, I know. You have a family waiting. I wasn't chanting out loud again, was I? Oh, of course not. <sighs> Just work your little tail off and be as handsome as you can. Yeah, that's great advice. To do the research, you need subjects. Getting these guys to sign means I can get back to the part I love, performing the tests. Ms. Gray, you're the legal guardian, right? Yes. Well, good news. It turns out that your niece is eligible to take part in one of our research studies. Daisy Gray, you're the next contestant on The Research is Right! Come on down! Jack. Tell Daisy what she's won. Well, Dr. Michaels, by participating in this study, you've earned weeks of monitoring, poking and prodding, and a chance to strengthen your heart. Oh. All prizes are subject to the laws of science and not guaranteed to turn out like you may think, so you can send form for details. So, should I get the consent forms? Of course, it's completely your choice, but this is a really great opportunity for you. What exactly is the research study? I wasn't the only one hoping to get some subjects into a study today. Now that I've explained everything we're going to do today, do you have any questions? No? Okay, let's get you randomized. Random? It's just like flipping a coin. And we're going to need to take Tommy's height, weight, and vitals. Can you tell me the difference in treatment between Group A and Group B? It's not that big a difference, really. The children in Group A will receive the SP treatment, and the children in Group B will receive the light therapy treatment. It's just what I say makes sense? Uh, uh, darn it. Is there something wrong? Uh, no. That was just my work calling. I'm sorry. Would you mind explaining the different research options again? I'm not sure they were totally clear on that handout you gave me. Okay. Um, the children in group A will receive the SP treatment and the children in group B will receive the light therapy treatment. Where are we going? We just went over that. I asked if you had any questions. Shouldn't we turn? Well, if you want to live, you'll turn. Left or right? Let's flip a coin. <laughs> Left or right? Well, if you take the left, you will get SP therapy, and if you take the right, you'll get light therapy. Well, I didn't hear any of that. I said, what's a five-letter word for edge of a bluff? Cliff! <laughs> Do you understand everything I've told you? I didn't hear a word she said. Francis was having his own problems down the hall. Francis may well be the smartest man I know. I'm not sure, because I never understand a word he says. PTOT and the customary procedures such as samples procured by the phlebotomist, specimen bankings. What does that mean? Could you please repeat that in layman's terms? <sighs> Arms A, B, and C are all the same initially. It's only later that each arm becomes distinct. As you can see, each research subject has improved nicely. Subject A's multiple arms are working well with each other. Thank you. Patient B's blood drawing is getting better every day. Oh, kid, that's great. <laughs> and subject C has remarkably improved banking skills. Thank you. Any questions? Good. 
<laughs> it's not like this is rocket science. <laughs> so, are you in or out? I think we need some more time. Sure, but just realize the clock is t t ticking. What if the study fills up while we're talking? Can we talk more about the side effects? Sure thing. So, who's all ready to sign up for the study? Hmm? I'm not sure I understood about the sampling. Is that gonna hurt? Tough day. I can't get them to commit to the study. All they want to do is talk. Isn't it your job to make sure they have all the information they need? Now you're starting to sound like a training video. Look, can't you just go in there and sweet talk them into signing the consent forms? First of all, I don't sweet talk anyone. And second, why are you so focused on pushing them into signing? I told them it was voluntary. Yet still, you push? All right, I might have made a bet with my friend Carl that I could fill up my study before he could make his monthly sales quota. You didn't. Actually, we did make that bet. What are you doing here? Selling kangaroo futures. Come check out the new lunch special. I'm not helping you rush your participants. You're on your own. So, what do you think? You want to sign up? Sometimes, no matter how well you think you've presented the information, there is always the fear of the one dreaded question. What would you do if it were your daughter, son, niece? Don't tell me. The old, what would you do? You guys are pathetic. You'd make a really good cheerleader. It is not us, it's the subjects. Your participants. Look, you need to understand these people are scared, overwhelmed, tired. They're in a hospital for crying out loud. They don't enjoy the smell of bleach and latex. Snap out of it. <clears throat> Seriously, Missy, you can't expect us to do any better. Really? Let's ask an expert, shall we? You can do better. Your job is to provide information to the participants so they can make an informed decision. Reese, where and how you present information is important. If there are interruptions, you need to think of ways to minimize those. You all need to focus on the context, content, and communication of presenting research information. Who is this guy? He's the actor they hired to be in the training video. He still owed us one scene's worth of acting. Well, it's a good thing you don't have a critique of me because I am perfect. You're awful. Dr. Elias, if you please. Our job is to provide information to families, all the information they need in as unbiased a way as possible. Help them make their own decision, not push them into being in a study. We give them that information in clear, manageable sections. Excuse me. We answer all their questions. We encourage their questions. I've got a question. Good. I'm ready to listen to your question. Can you start picking on Francis instead of me? Frank. It's Francis. Francis, your communication skills stink. Yes, you talk over the heads of families, assuming that if you understand the material, everyone does. The process of verbal delivery employed by the current speaker does not present a conduit to obfuscation. What? He said the way he talks doesn't confuse people. How do you know that? I read his subtitles. <laughs> what? The notion of the current speaker's confabulation being demarcated by superimposed translation is preposterous. Even I don't understand you half the time. You need to make sure who you are talking to completely understands you. The only way to do that is to ask questions, have them respond, and let them repeat back to you what they understood. Bring it home, Doc. Our job is to facilitate a decision, not to obtain consent. Regardless of what patients or parents decide, if they understand the information, we are doing our job. Have any of you taken the time to assess if they fully understand what they're getting into? I don't think you understand what we go through. I don't think you understand what they go through. For once, each of you should consider how the patients see you. Without even knowing it, Missy just put a curse on us. A curse that would soon enough come true.